Hi, in this tutorial we'll go about how to spam your citizen blueprint. But before that, make sure that show state is enabled so you can see any message that PPC will display if we spawn something. To spawn your city blueprint, you have to make sure that you have a new level open it. Go to and create an empty open world. It's, you should always choose this if you want to use it with word partition. If you don't want to use it with word partition, use empty level. But for a large city, it is really recommended to use empty open world. Uh, it, it will be very difficult to spawn really big city. So choose up the open world. You should have word partition tab enabled. If you don't have, go to window, word partition and select word partition editor with data layer outliner also open. First thing to do when you have to spawn your city zone blueprint is to know how big your city is. For that, we'll place a cube in the level and scale it to our target size. So go to shape and select cube. In the scale, set it to 5 km by 3.5 km. You should notice that this size is a really big size for generally game city environment. So if you don't need that uh, levels as big as this, you can use small level if your computer is not really powerful for to handle it. But don't worry, PCC is uh, really optimized to, to handle big size level. So now it is time to spawn our citizen blueprint. Go to content browser and search for PCC citizen. Drag and drop it in the level. Notice that it is a spline. It is a spline. To add a new point, we select the last point. We hold our alt key on our keyboard and click on the left button and drag it to add a new point like this. Do it to add more points. When you finish draw your city, go to setup tab and check close plan. It will complete the shape of the city. In case you are not happy with the shape of city, you can come to PCC command tab and click on, on reset plan seat. It will reset the shape of the city. But if you are happy and you want to make any further modification, just select it and move the points so that I think I am okay with the actual shape of the city. The next thing to do is to optimize the shape of the city. Notice that pink spline. It is the actual area of your city. And to optimize that, we go to setup tab and go to linear shape optimization. Notice what, ha what happened when I increase its value. You can see that it's try to conform itself to the shape I drew. It's not necessary to use a big value. If you want to use the actual city, the sh actual shape of your city, it is recommended to use use the main spline as own shape. Check it, and you will have it. You use the shape you drew.
now that we end up we end up trying our CT shape it is time to preview the cell size for that check preview cell size notice that it spawns cells but we are not seeing it it is because we have to select the citizen shape and select it again now you'll see the size of your you see the, the cell pre, uh, being preview uh, one thing that you want to do is to change the cell size but for most for most city it is recommend to use the default size but you can change it the default size is set to one kilometer by one kilometer but in reality the cell size is double the size of what whatever you enter here let's see it you can see that it is me two kilometer by two kilometer so if you want to use one kilometer by one kilometer size you have to divide it by two and you got one kilometer by one kilometer cell size it can be useful if you want to uh, how to say that if you want to optimize your city to better his small cell size the cell size has nothing to do with what partition said so don't confuse yourself with it it's just that you generate small portion that will be manageable with data layer but by default i use uh, one kilometer by one kilometer value now the next the next thing to do is to set the data that will be used to spawn uh, road and building for that go to data setup the first thing is to go to zone and set road post data select road data zero one and plot building select matrix pbg building dev cd the plot plot data select matrix plots that is that you have to set up the tree this tree this data will be used to spawn anything that you want but don't worry we'll go, come back at this and how to generate this data with your custom blueprint or custom road anything mesh that you want when you set up this you can actually see the informative in the informative tab you can actually see the size of your city 10 km by almost 3 km the next thing to do is to spawn the cell but before we spawn the cell we'll go and add highways to do that go to content browser and search for pcc road splat drag and drop to in the level in the road setting road type set it to highways and select any of the second points and make it travel both sides of the city zone let's add a second a second one and go to road sitting road tab set it a highway select the second point and make it travel both sides The next thing to do is to select both roads and come to data setup. That is why you set the data that will be used to spawn the road props and anything that the road needs to spawn. In the road post data, select a select highway matrix highway road props. In the road setting, 
that is why you set the mesh that will be used for your highway I will be using the default value but that is why you span it to select your roads and your print mesh when you are happy with this it is now time to spawn the cells select your citizen blueprint and go to PCC command and check spawn cells in the next tutorial we will see how to generate and preview roads with the spawned cell